Are you excited? Lomachrome Turquoise is finally back. First introduced in 2015, it was discontinued just a couple of years later. Lomography announced the return of this color shift film in November 2021, and after some delays, the film shipped to customers all over the world, including me, in early October 2022. Does this film live up to the hype? Let's find out. So I wasted no time in getting out there. I loaded up not one, not two, but three cameras with Lomography Turquoise so you could see some of my early results. The three cameras I chose were the Contax G1 where I rated the film at ISO 200, the Pentax 645N2 where again I rated it at 200, and the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim which has no film speed rating on it at all. So let's take a look at the first roll of Lomography Turquoise film. This was shot on my Contax G1 with both the 45mm Planar lens and also the 28mm Bargon lens. Now a lot of these shots were taken when I went on a little day trip with my son. We went over to beautiful Minjerabar, North Stravarike Island, not too far from our place, about a 10 minute drive, and then 25 minutes on the water taxi across Morton Bay to this beautiful island. Uh, so if we look at the, the contact sheet first, a lot of the images here were shot on North Stravarike Island. And of course you can see the very telltale signs of turquoise, the turquoise, the oranges, the very dark greens, not much else, not many other colors there. Let's go to the first shot. This was when we were on the water taxi and we were actually looking at one of the vehicle ferries or the vehicle barges. They take trucks and cars across to the island. And so there you go, you can sort of see a bit of orange in the sky there, but not much other color. The next shot was on the water taxi. I was on the upper deck and I took a picture looking towards the sky. The sky is nice and orange. Everything else has sort of turned light blue or dark blue there, which is interesting. The next shot is at Point Lookout on North Strabrike Island. And this is a pandanus palm and they have these big seeds or nuts. I'm not sure what they are, but you can see them there in the photo there. All the leaves have turned a very sort of dark green. Look at that. And the sky is nice and orange. When we got to Point Lookout, which is on the far side of the island, we actually had a gelato, or should I say my son had a gelato. And then we went for a nice little walk. So this is the start of the walk here. All the foliage there has turned a very deep sort of color, deep shade of green, which is nice. And the sky there, you can sort of see some clouds and the rest of the sky has turned orange there. And you can also see the, blue, the, the, the dark orange, which was the dark blue of the sea. The next one is on the Gorge Walk and you can sort of see this beautiful, you know, geography of North Stradbroke Island, these, these gorges and these rocks and the sea crashing in. And this one looks really, really nice. I really like that shot. The next shot is very similar. It's actually probably a better shot, but look at the top there across the top. You can sort of see some scratches on the film. And this is quite a sort of a, a thing about Lomography film is sometimes you will get these scratches come into the film. I'm not sure why it happened to me on this roll across two different cameras. Uh, my lab are very good. I don't, do not usually get any kind of scratches on the film whatsoever, but I have had them on Lomography film before, which is interesting. Next up is a beautiful, is that a wallaby or a kangaroo? I think it's a small kangaroo. And the kangaroo was sort of probably about, you know, two meters or six feet away from us, just happily eating some berries or something. And uh, yeah, took his photo or took her photo. And yeah, they're just sort of having a nice little munch there on the beautiful berries of Minjerabar in North Stradbroke Island. This is a nice scene here on the Gorge Walk looking out towards the sea. The sea is very pale sort of orange and all of those, the foliage and the trees and the grass are a nice, very mint sort of emerald green, which looks really cool. This one is round the side of the Gorge Walk, getting back towards near the Point Lookout Surf Club. And this is looking at Main Beach. Main Beach is a very long beach on the eastern side of the island. And you can see there, that looks really, really nice there. And you can actually see some surfers in the middle of the photo there. Uh, there's just a little clump of dots there, right in the middle of the photo. There are people enjoying the surf. What a, what a great way to spend a spring afternoon. This is from a very similar position, just with some trees in the way there. So you can see the sort of the dark shades of the green of the trees there. That looks really nice as well. Another shot here of Main Beach and you can see more of the swimmers here and you can also see South Gorge there, the bottom sort of right of the photo is South Gorge. We've actually filmed quite a few movies here, I think Aquaman was shot there and some other movies. So yeah, really, really nice shot there, I really like the colour palette here. Look, it's not completely bright and completely bold, I think, like purple, but you know, you've got the very subtle sort of orange sky and then the, the sort of minty turquoise tones throughout this image. Next up is a house at Point Lookout. This was on the way to get the ice cream, I think. And I just like this, you've got this really nice sort of lush 
green uh, carpet of grass there and some nice trees and you've got the wire coming down and the top right as well which is cool and the last one from this roll is just a boat here i'm not sure where this was oh this was coming in from the water taxi so coming into uh, dunwich uh, at, at north stradbroke island and i just took this one off the side of the water taxi so that's it for the roll of the contax g1 if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd also love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you really love my content, you can also buy me a coffee. There's information on how to do that in the video description. And thank you so much to the latest person who bought me a coffee, Bill2. Next up is the role I took on the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim. Of course, the Ultra Wide and Slim is a toy camera. It has one aperture one shutter speed, no film speed selector. So you just load the film in and hope for the best. You usually shoot it in bright conditions. I've shot purple on this camera before, they turned out fantastic. So I was hoping for a similar amount of magic here when I loaded up Lomo Turquoise. So the first shot here is down at Victoria Point. You've got some nice sort of, you know, the boats here look good. There was a red boat, I think, and it's turned blue and you've got the nice sort of sky there, which looks kind of cool with the sort of the white clouds. The next image here is a close-up of a boat, but look at the scratches down the, the image uh, vertically. Wow, the, this is probably the worst affected frame out of my, my roll of uh, film here with Lomo Turquoise. Yeah, some really bad sort of scratches there. I'm not sure what's up with that. Otherwise, I, I quite like the image. You know, there's a boat there called, uh, what's it called? Vicious, Vigorous, Vigorous Carrot. I think I've, I've photographed that boat before, but again, it looks cool. Very dominant tones there of the turquoise and the orange again. Next up is just looking up at a tree and the sky. I think this looks cool. It looks very ethereal, doesn't it? It looks like, you know, it does look a bit, reminds you very much of those infrared films. Not the same palette, not the same effect, but it does definitely give you that kind of vibe, right? Next shot is my wife and the dog. Now, I actually took quite a few pictures of the kids with this film. Typically, the turquoise film will make your skin blue. The kids are getting to an age where they don't want embarrassing photos in dad's YouTube videos, so I have not included any pictures of the kids. I actually took a photo of myself. I got my wife to take it, actually. For some reason, there was an issue with my Pentax 645. I'll talk about that in a minute, and it didn't come out. So unfortunately, my guinea pig here for the, the blue skin photo is my wife here. So her, her skin definitely does look blue there. She is smiling, the dog looks great, and you've got these amazing sort of tones here of the grass and the tree behind her and the beautiful sort of orange sky. So it does, it does look very cool. Next up is a shot of some little yellow flowers on the path when we were walking the dog. These were all yellow. I shot it from about a meter away because you do need a minimum sort of distance with the ultra wide and slim. And of course the yellow flowers are turned blue, pretty cool. We're back on top of the water taxi and this is the image I took before, I remember from the G1 roll. I took an image looking upwards of some kind of containers and something. This is what it was. This is a wide angle view. Of course, the ultra wide and slim has a 21 mil super wide angle. So I got the whole of the thing in there. That's what I was photographing. This is on the way back after we'd done our big walk around Minjeriba, North Stradbroke Island. This is heading back to Cleveland. And as you can see here, we're facing into the sun. It's very bright. And there's almost a complete absence here of any sort of color. So, you know, a lot of light on this image uh, has basically taken away any of the color shifts, which is quite interesting. This is on uh, Minjeriba, looking up at those beautiful sort of palm trees, I think they are. A really nice sort of, I love how they sort of, all the angles and the weird shapes of these trees. And you know, the, the nice deep green colors and the background of the orange sky, it looks fantastic. Next up is one of the gorges here on the Gorge Walk. It looks fantastic, you know, the sky and the waves and the rocks, it looks really beautiful. And the Ultra Wide and Slim's done a great job there, as has Lomo Turquoise. This is back at the beach at Victoria Point. This is just a buoy, or a, do Americans say buoy? That sounds really weird. We say buoy over here. Uh, so there's a buoy on the beach, and yeah, it, it looks kind of cool. It, it looks in, in focus, there's a shadow there. You can see the sun was pretty bright. And you've got the really cool sort of colors of the turquoise and the orange air, which looks really nice. And for the last roll of my Lomo turquoise, I opened up a roll of 120 turquoise and I put it in my Pentax 645 N2. Now I actually had the batteries in the Pentax for a long time, probably a year. I didn't realize it had been that long. The first couple of images I took, uh, it made a weird sound. I replaced the batteries and it was all fine. I think what happened was though, I actually lost a couple of images. So the last two images on the roll were me and my wife because I wanted to show you the blue Smurf 
skin tones. Uh, it was like the images did actually take at the end of the roll, but I think there was a problem with me and the batteries, so those images never came out. So I've only got these few images here to show you from the Pentax 645. But this is a Victoria Point again. I really like this. The orange is a little bit more subtle here. I rated it at ISO 200, as I did with the G1, I rated it at 200. Uh, but I think this looks really nice. You know, the boats look really good and the sky's nice and orange. Not a huge color palette, you know, not a huge range of colors here is there, but I do like it. Next up is a close up of a boat at Victoria Point as well. Again, that looks quite good. This is probably my favorite shot of the turquoise at the beach here. Pretty sure this boat was red from memory and it's turned bright blue here. And you've got the nice buoy and the chain and the rope of the boat. And of course you can see the turquoise in the highlights of the water puddles around the boat, which I think looks really nice. I really, really like that. Next up, we've got a picture, a couple of pictures in my garden actually. And the first one here is a beautiful red flower. It's just been raining and I took a close up of this. I think this is F2.8. These are red flowers and they've come out purple on the film, which looks pretty cool. And I think you can see some water droplets there. It looks really, really nice. Pentax 645 N2, beautiful camera. And um, yeah, really nice result there. Next up is my four-legged friend, Marshall Dalmatian. Doesn't he look cute? He actually looks quite small here because I'm sort of above him. Um, to get his attention, my wife had actually got some kind of treat and put it on my head, uh, which is pretty gross because I had some dog treat in my hair. Um, but I'm, I've got the camera and she's trying to get my, his attention to look at the camera and we actually nailed it. Look at that. Marshall looks great. Look how rich and deep the color of the grass is there. And Marshall's red collar has turned purple, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there you go. There's Marshall Dalmatian in turquoise. And the last image on this roll, look, I'm not very good at taking still life photos, but I did put two beautiful red Stanthorpe apples from my recent trip down to Stanthorpe on the, the bench top there, just to see what would happen. And look how blue these are. These are so cool. So I might take some more still life. I, I better get better at taking still life photos, but this is just an experiment to see what color they turn. Wow, look at that. They look super cool. So there you go, there are the results of my first three rolls of Lomography's Lomochrome Turquoise. I really did enjoy shooting it and seeing the images. I'll be completely honest, I don't think it's a film that I'm gonna shoot a lot more of. I'll probably keep two or three more rolls of 35 mil, maybe one or two more of 120 and that's it. I'm gonna sell all the film at cost price to anyone in Australia who wants to buy it off me. Although the results are interesting, I don't think it's as fun for me as Lomo Purple. And I think really, yeah, it's fun to try out, but for me, I won't be shooting a lot more of it. What did you think of the results? Are you gonna go buy some Lomo Turquoise based on this? Have you got yours yet? Have you shot it? Let me know everything in the comments below.